All right, now my phone has booted up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a review video of the CM7 ROM, CyanogenMod 7 ROM on the Motorola Photon 4G. So as you can see, nice live wallpaper background, the stock CM7 background. Uh, but anyways, you have ADW launcher, um, which is the stock launcher that comes with CM7. Look up in the not notification bar, you have basically uh, AOSP gingerbread battery icon. You got four signal bars. Go ahead and swipe down on the notification bar if it lets me. There we go. And as you can see, um, basically just a grayish, blackish uh, notification color right there. And up at the top, you got notification icons, quick panel widgets right there, which are a very nice feature. Turn on and off GPS, turn on and off Wi-Fi. You can actually customize them in the signage mod settings. So there's something nice with the CM7 ROM. But uh, otherwise, let's go over some some features, some things that work actually. Uh, basically, you got Wi-Fi, GPS working, Bluetooth works. Um, SMS, which is messaging, text messaging, should work fine. Call should work fine. Um, there's a nice AOSP dialer um, in regards to calls. But things that don't work, uh, but your battery life is going to be pretty bad. So definitely be ready for worse battery life than, than stock or on any ROM. So you got that uh, not going for you. Um, HDMI mirroring doesn't work. Um, I think your external micro SD card might have problems, just something like that. Obviously 4G doesn't work. YouTube doesn't work either. And I believe uh, you don't have MMS working. So you might not be able to send and receive picture messages, but just a heads up there. So, I mean, it is overall, it works. Uh, you might run into some problems though, since it is an alpha ROM. But otherwise I'm gonna hit menu, settings, Scroll down, orange over scroll glow, as you can see, also has CRT screen off animation. It goes kind of slow, as you can see, it's like slow motion CRT screen off, as well as the stock CM7 lock screen. You do have lock screen options. I'll be sure to point those out, but I'm gonna go to about phone, and I'm gonna scroll down, and as you can see, uh, mod version right there, signage in mod 710 right there, Sunfire Kang. Uh, Android version 2.3.7, so that's the uh, Android version the Signage and Mod ROM is based off of, which is pretty cool right there. So, um, otherwise, um, let's go ahead and go into Signage and Mod settings so I can run through some of those. You got just a bunch of different settings to, uh, that you can mess with, so be sure to check them out. I'm not going to show you all of them, but I'm going to go to display, and as you can see, let's see if screen on animation works. I'm going to check that. So as you can see, you got screen off, but screen on is just the opposite. So it does work. So let me, let's go ahead and let that uh, can the camera focus. I'm sorry, guys. So, wow. Well, there we go. Um, but anyways, when I hit screen on, it uh, it goes off, and then it comes out just how it went, went down. So very cool there. Um, so you got screen on, you can make it uh, rotate 180 degrees if you would like. Uh, you got lock screen options. I'm gonna go to uh, lock screen style right there. And you got many options. You got sliding tab, rotary, rotary revamp lens, and ring. Ring is the one set by default. You got sliding tab, which is basically the stock AOSP unlock. You got sound on and off, and then unlock. On the left, you got um, rotary, which is the same as sliding tab, just a little different style, and rotary revamped. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that one. Uh, this is rotary. Oh, it looks like uh, rotary revamps about the same as rotary as well. Um, and otherwise, you got lens, which is similar to MI, MIUI unlock, just without any shortcuts, so just slide it on down. Uh, but otherwise, those are your lock screen options. There are many other signage mod settings. You can actually go to the performance and uh, go to CPU settings. I'm not sure if it includes an overclockable gov uh, kernel, but uh, yeah, it doesn't. So you can really, you can underclock if you want to, but otherwise you cannot overclock on this ROM for now. So uh, just a heads up there. But otherwise, that's just a quick overview of the signage mod ROM. You got a different messaging app, um, stock AOSP messaging app. Just overall, just a pure Google experience. As you can see, the dialer's different. Contacts will be different. Just you'll get rid of any um, Motorola blur on your phone. So definitely you can check out this ROM, mess with it a little bit. Um, as I said, battery life's not gonna be that great. You might run into some forced closures or anything like that. But otherwise you got uh, theme chooser app as well, which is very cool. Um, I'll actually show you that now. Um, you can go to the market and type in CM7 themes if you wanna check out more themes. But go to the theme chooser app and then uh, go to cyan bread. What that is is actually, a t you got three options that come by default. I'm gonna go to cyan bread, hit apply. And it's actually going to apply a theme for me, just like that. So as you can see now, icons are a different color. They're the light blue cyan 
uh, color and battery icon is colored that same color as well. So overall just a very cool app as you can see over scroll glow changes color as well from orange to that blue. So there's a, a nice uh, feature to the CM7 ROM is that theme chooser app. So be sure to check that out. If you do uh, want to uh, run into any problems when flashing this ROM, have any questions at all, feel free to ask, leave a comment on the video. Be sure to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos and videos in general. And um, as always, you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Links will be in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.